Hi guys, welcome back to Cards TV. This is Mary. I've had a really, really busy weekend, but I've been trying to get in the craft room and make a Halloween card. And I finally got to, or I got to cut everything out. I'm going to put it together with you. And we'll be using Create a Critter 2. This is such a cute little cartridge. It has a lot of the same critters as the original Create a Critter. But these little critters have cute little outfits for all the different seasons and holidays and occasions. So we'll be using a little critter from here. We'll also be using one of my new stamp sets for Halloween, October 31st. And we're going to use this Boo to You bingo card right up there. It's a pretty simple little card, but I wanted it to be really colorful. Let me grab my papers and things. We've got just a plain white card base, and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we have this kind of a marigold yellow mat. This is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. And then I've got two other mats, which I'm going to add a border to. And I'm going to put those together and add the border before I put them on top of this marigold yellow. I love the bright colors in this card. And I think for that reason, I'll be giving this to my youngest granddaughter because she loves colors. And these are kind of primary colors. Okay, the next two mats, I've got this lime green. And this is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got this really cute polka dot. Don't know if you can see it, but the polka dots have glitter on them. Love this. This is three and three quarters by four. And I'm going to add this right down here to the bottom. Now my cardstock today all came from Color Book. And this cute little polka dot paper is from... A die cuts with a view Halloween stack that I got a couple of years ago. And we'll add this right here at the bottom. Now I've got that on, and I'm using some really cute purple for my border, which is going right up here. And I've cut it longer because I want to get these scallops lined up evenly. I think right about that'll do. Uh, I've used my Fisker's treading water punch or threading water punch that's what it is haven't used this in a long time but this is one of my favorites i really like this one and this uh, cardstock is also from color book and i inked it with some studio g purple ink so i'll put some adhesive on here and get that on and then i'll trim off the edges let me line it up. You see, I didn't put adhesive on the whole thing because I'm going to be trimming it. That looks just about right. Okay, we'll just flip it over and trim this off. There we go. Now we can get this put on the front of the card. Okay, we've got our card base all ready. Now, I went ahead and stamped the Boo to You bingo card on some more of that lime green. And then I took some of the marigold yellow and made a mat for it. And that yellow mat is two and seven eighths by three and a half. And we're going to put that, let's see, here or here. I think we'll put it just like that. Okay, here's my cute little spider wearing the witch's hat. I just think she's so cute. And I've got her on an action wobble, and I did have to trim it down a little bit. Now, I cut her at two and a half inches, and I'm going to put her right down there. And you'll find this cute little spider witch on page 53. There she is right there. And something I love about this cartridge, just like the original Create a Critter 2, it takes very few cuts to layer this. I cut my little spider and the band for her hat out of the purple. And then I used black 
to cut the background that goes behind her eyes and mouth and her witch's hat. And then I used the marigold yellow to cut the buckle for her hat. That's all there was to it. Cut it all at two and a half inches. And I've got a Stardust Jelly Roll glitter pen. And I think I'm going to just put a little bit of glitter on this buckle. I think that'll be really cute and very easy to do. Can you see how that just makes that buckle shine? Now before I put my little spider witch down, I think I want to add some buttons to my bingo card. And I've got two orange and a black, so I'll just put these on some glue dots and stick these on here. Let's do the number nine. And let's put a black one on number 50. We're not going to get them lined up though to win bingo, are we? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's put another orange one on 69. Yeah, I like that. Just adding some more color. And it really needs a couple of buttons up here. Let me grab those glue dots again. Let's see. We've got another little small one. I think we'll put in this corner. And we want to end up with an odd number. You always want to do odd numbers when you're adding your buttons or your embellishments. And we'll put a big one and a small one over here. And then we'll get our spider on, and our cute little Halloween card's going to be done. Okay. And one more small one. Let's scoot that over just a little bit. There. Okay, let's take the backing off our spider, and we're done. Okay, I've got the backing off, and I always like to take my fingers and run around underneath it and make sure it's stuck down, especially when I'm using something that's got uh, a raised surface like this paper. Okay, you ready? My little granddaughter's going to love this because she giggles over these just like I do, and so do my grandsons. I always try to give them a card with action wobble on it, and I love to hear them laugh. That is so cute. I love that. So there we go, guys. Another cute little Halloween card. It's going to be here before we know it. And I've got to get some candy in this house. Or I will not be ready. But thanks so much for coming by today, guys. And I'll see you again really soon. Bye now.